Hi, I'm Dr. Vincent Smith. Hi, my name is Renata Block. My name is Dr. Corey Hartman. Hi there, I'm Dr. Aaron Farberg. Hi, my name is Ted Lane. Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Harper. So hi everyone, my name is Omar Noor. Hi, my name's Amber Blair. Hi, I'm Hilary Baldwin. Hello, I'm Dr. Jim Dorasso. I had pretty active acne all through my teenage years, even into my 20s and 30s. And it was really distressing because, you know, we all want to look our best and feel our best and really just put our best face forward to everybody. And it's hard to do when you're looking in the mirror and all you can see are pimples. You feel like other people aren't looking at you. They're really just looking at your pimples. Okay, so I have been experiencing and dealing with acne my entire life. Knowing that I'm older and always thinking in my mind when I was a teenager that I can't wait to get older and not get pimples anymore, it's not true. So dermatology was something that I've wanted to do since I was 14 years old because I had a neighbor who was a dermatologist, actually the only black dermatologist in Louisiana. You know, it may not be the kind of medical condition that can kill you, but it certainly wears on your self-esteem. And to be honest, it can even interfere with your ability to excel um, professionally. My personal connection to acne is, well, that I had it. I had it as a teen and I still deal with it now. As a teen, I was incredibly self-conscious, as you'd expect for any teen. It was particularly difficult as often I would struggle to recognize that I was not the only one having to deal with this issue. I really never struggled with acne, either as a teenager or as an adult, but I do remember in medical school, my fiance, now wife, really struggling with hormonal adult acne. I've seen the same with my oldest daughter because we know how important it is to clear the acne for these young teenagers' esteem and confidence. And I certainly don't want her to deal with it now, nor do I want her to deal with it as an adult. When I look back, I guess I'm thankful that I had acne because acne is why I am a dermatologist and treating acne is probably still my number one favorite thing to do. And when we treat acne, we're not just impacting their skin, we really are impacting their life. We're giving people more confidence. We're giving them probably more opportunity to put themselves out there. I would like very much to treat acne in a way that it becomes something that they don't even have to think about. And with acne in particular, because I suffered with acne, I suffered with self-esteem in high school, I understand that, you know, it's not just the acne on their face, it's the entire day, the everything that comes around with it that affects them, that plays a role in their day to day. Um, so when I'm treating them, it's as almost as if I'm treating myself. It's not a stamp and repeat regimen in my clinic. So if I can capture my patient now as a new patient and say, hey, not everything's gonna work for every person, but that's okay. Stick with me, I'll stick with you. We'll work together to find the best treatment regimen for you and your acne so we can get you the best improvement possible. And the tendency is just to think so, well, you know, this is only a couple of years. It's not gonna kill them. They're gonna get over it. It's gonna go away. Um, but right now, this is the most important thing that is going on in that patient's life. And they deserve a considerable amount of time spent discussing not just the physical aspects, but the psychosocial aspects of their disease as well. So you have to ask yourself, how do you want to be perceived by the patient? What are they going to say about you when you're not there? They're going to describe you as someone that really cares, does a good job, makes a connection with the patient. And I would say really concentrate on how you want to establish your reputation, your communication skills, how you want to make sure that you're explaining to patients why they should come back. And I would encourage clinicians just going out into practice to really pay attention to those details.